Yo. I wonder if anyone's gonna show up. It is Easter. All right, all right, all right. Now we got people. So you know, it's uh, this is this the theme of this Scopey Sunday is safety. Well, so maybe I should put my uh, my safety goggles on. Eh? Safety, Scopey Sunday. Now I actually bought these because my eyes hurt from staring at computers constantly. So it's like flux for your eyes. Scopey Sunday is back. Yeah, um, because it's Easter, you know. Uh, so I bought these actually because uh, it's flux for your eyes, right? Um, <laughs> it's April Fool's Day too, pretty crazy, right? No, I'll take them off. They look, uh, I was made fun of uh, a few people at the office. No, but uh, we actually have a serious topic to talk about today. We're going to talk about safety. Um, so, you know, there were two, uh, two crashes recently. There was the, uh, the Uber crash and the uh, Tesla crash. Uh, you know, sometimes they like to call them accidents, and they are accidents, but, you know, crash is uh, more descriptive of what actually happened. Um, so first off, I haven't really said anything about them uh, until now. I wouldn't go that far. Um, so I, I wouldn't go far enough to say that it wasn't uh, Uber's fault. Um, I, I think actually most of the blame in the situation lies on the safety driver. Um, remember, guys, there's no such thing as level four self-driving cars. Uh, there are no self-driving cars that can drive better than people. Some of these driver assistance systems, when used in conjunction with the person, no, um, no. So, Open Pilot is not anywhere near a level four self-driving car, and everybody who uses it should know this. Um, I, I question, I question, uh, if, you, if you don't know this, I, I question a lot. Um, so it's, was it Uber's fault? I, I wouldn't blame the engineers. Um, was it Uber's fault in vetting, vetting and monitoring their safety drivers? I would say some of the blame lies there. I would say most of the blame lies with the safety driver uh, themselves, not looking at the road. And, um, you know, the person, I mean, don't blame the victim, but... Uh, she wasn't being very careful. So, um, what's the takeaway? What's the takeaway? So, there was also a, a Tesla crash. Uh, if you guys saw the Tesla crash that hit the, uh, the concrete barrier. Uh, Model X totally burnt out in the front. Um, so, Tesla released a blog post and then a follow-up blog post. It turns out the car was on autopilot and there was no... Uh, Hardly anyone could get their open pilot working with their car, so come on, we'll be fine. I mean, to be honest, so when you look at Tesla's uh, statistics, they're they're pretty fair. Um, I mean, look, to think that you're going to have a system that prevents all accidents is ridiculous. The goal is to make things safer, and, you know, Tesla obviously interprets the statistics in a favorable light, but I don't think they're very far off uh, from the truth. Uber statistics, on the other hand, do not look good. Um, you have a fatality on the roads, I believe Tesla said every 88 million miles. We usually go with the number about one in every 100 million. Uh, and yeah, Uber had only driven a couple million miles. So that was, uh, that was probably far too soon. Um, it was an interesting article that came out in the computer segment of Luai. Uh, no, Luai, uh, where you guys post the memes and I read them. Um, this is an interesting article. Uh, former Uber backup driver, we saw this coming. I mean, it's, it's a clickbait. But um, it actually, the most interesting thing I found in this article was, uh, yeah. Um, you know, this was one of our biggest rules, no phone in the left seat, uh, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to after after we'll we'll get to we'll get to shit talking Scopey Sunday in a bit. Um, so look at this. So far, roughly a dozen operators have been fired for using cell phones on their job, uh, and they absolutely should be. Um, they absolutely should be. Honestly, if I was in if I was in an Uber and the Uber driver was using their cell phone in a way that I thought was kind of unsafe, like looking down for for five seconds, I would say something. 
Um, I would certainly give them a bad rating. Uh, so yeah, d guys, don't uh, don't use your phone when you drive. But the the bigger problem is maybe this: when you guys drive with Open Pilot, one of the things that I think makes Open Pilot a bit a bit safer than the Uber thing is you guys aren't driving for twelve hours straight. Um, knowing these people, Uber probably pays them hourly, and they probably drive constantly for twelve hours uh, or eight hours or whatever. You get tired. Um, but I do think that the way forward for the space is driver monitoring. Um, so if we look, Super Cruise has great driver monitoring. Um, I should have my links all ready. So maybe they show, yeah, so Right here, um, so I tried out Super Cruise uh, on Sunday, and I, I was very impressed. Um, they have a they have a camera monitoring the driver, and it felt very unlikely to make mistakes, which, in some ways, is bad because it reassures you. But in another way, they are they are monitoring you, so I do think that's the the way forward. Um, so this is my draft medium post that I've been working on, uh, safety and driver attention. Um, this is an interesting uh, link. Let's take a look. To the left is the original video. In the middle is the detection so of the face region. So they ran glance detection glance classification on the, the uh, sequence of images to the neural network, and then the neural network produces an on the Uber network. So happy Easter! Yes, we are going to start doing similar sort of stuff. Uh, so here we can see. Uh, can see, I deleted the one I really wanted to show you. Yeah, this one's pretty good. So here's me in the Ford Fusion. Um, yeah, that's the Uber video, yeah. Um, so this is recorded with the front camera of an Eon. Um, now, this is recorded with the front camera of a right side up Eon. Um, I deleted the one I recorded with the upside down Eon. But if you guys have seen this, is the way forward for eons. Uh, come with the next release, we're gonna ask you to flip the top and the bottom pieces. Um, we're also gonna start to offer optional uh, front camera recording and uploading. Um, so the, the front camera upload and record will be optional. Uh, when we do ship driver monitoring stuff, uh, it will be mandatory. Um, now, I still think we're in a, we're in a pretty okay uh, situation because, you know, OpenPilot still makes uh, a decent number of mistakes. Uh, and as long as it does make mistakes, you won't confuse it for a superhuman system. Um, or also, I hope nobody is driving uh, 10 hours a day. Uh, you feel so sorry for the safety driver. I mean, again, uh, if, we had to, if we had to, you know, put blame, um, you can also break a lot of safety down into, uh, into three categories, right? Um, so when a lot of car companies uh, talk about safety, not, not all of them, um, you have legal safety, uh, which, which, which legal safety is very concerned with, okay, who's to blame here? Um, you know, how do we, how do we make sure, uh, you know, we, we, we stomp down on, on this behavior? And that's uh, somewhat what... Uh, of, a, of an okay problem. Um, then there's signaling safety. Uh, signaling safety is, to me, absolutely disgusting. Um, when you see, you know, oh my God, like you know, the way they, they write up these like, just, just, just you're, not, you're not helping the problem. You're just trying to virtue signal. And I think a lot of the problems in the world are caused by virtue signaling. Um, but what we care about is, is, is statistical safety. Right, so we now have hundreds of people out there driving uh, with OpenPilot, and we want to figure out how to not, not just make OpenPilot you know as safe as a human, but how do we how do we move forward toward making it safer? Right. Um, so OpenPilot is always watching the road, and then with you always watching the road, uh, most cars on the road have have. At most one, and you know, sometimes a little bit less than one, maybe the expected value for most cars on the road of a driver paying attention is like uh, 0.98. Um, I don't know about that. 
Um, uh, honestly, if, if you look at that situation, if there was no Uber or anything, um, I mean, uh, do, you, do you criminally charge a driver if they're looking at their phone and they kill somebody? Maybe you do. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm not really interested in, in, in who's to blame. I'm interested in how the industry uh, moves forward. So, who's they? Uber? But yeah, so we'll be releasing in two weeks, we'll be releasing the uh, front camera recording option and the instructions to flip around your Eon. So as you can see, we haven't, uh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not interested. That's the concept of legal safety, right? Like I'm not, I'm not that interested in, 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 in who gets paid or anything like that. I'm, I'm interested in determining the truth. I'm interested in getting the facts. That's why I didn't really say anything about this. You know, everyone who said things about this, especially before the, uh, <laughs> especially before the, uh, the dash cam footage came out, you know, what, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, so no, actually, so this is the difference between organizations like NTSB and NISHTA, right? Uh, NISHTA determines like who has to pay and who's to blame and what the, uh, uh, but then you have organizations like NTSB who look like they're really just trying to get to the truth of the matter. Um, so NTSB's report on autopilot last year, um, if you remember it, they went into... Oh yeah, you like my big mouse pad? It's a big mouse pad, right? I bought it before PewDiePie was on the big mouse pad thing too. Uh, how does it handle running both cameras at the same time? Both cameras have been running the same time the whole time. Uh, we, we run the front camera the whole time. We don't upload it. We don't record it. Um, but it, it's been running, so I, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, we, use it, we used to use it for that, the rearview mirror thing, which, which pretty much no one uses anymore. But, um, yeah, so you'll be able to record both cameras at the same time. We're going to make it so you'll be able to access uh, all your front camera. And we haven't been monitoring you. Don't worry. We got our first front camera footage today uh, from an Eon and one of our Eons. Um, no, we don't record the front camera. We don't record the microphone. Uh, now we're going to have optional front camera recording, but it's going to be off by default. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if we do ship, uh, yeah, bro, I, I, I don't, I don't want to know what you do in the front seat. Like that's, I, do I really want this video? No, but I think it is a good step for safety. Uh, could I display the backup camera on the end? You can display the backup camera on the end. Um, yeah, Facebook and Val, yeah, right, right. I certainly don't want the mic. Um, I don't even want to do optional microphone, to be honest, guys. I just, I don't want that data, right? Um, you know, it, that's certainly not a, not a safety thing. Uh, the front camera, I think it's the way forward. I, I think it is the way forward. You know, Tesla shipped, uh, they called the selfie cam in the Model 3. Um, so that's kind of my take on these things. I, I think both of the recent accidents, and, and the, you know, of course, the uh, autopilot truck accident in Florida, the uh, autopilot death in China. I think all four of those, how much meth am I on? Um, I think all four of those would have been prevented if the driver was paying attention. The, the new model doesn't use the blockchain. I was, I was trolling. Okay, this is serious Scopey Sunday. Uh, no, no. Oh, oh, you have a giant panda? If you have a giant panda and you put that in a Neo, I'll, I'll take that back and you can, I'll, I'll give you the discount on the Eon, sure. Um, you want audio to catch other side admitting fault. Fault is, fault is so not interesting, you guys. What's interesting is like just how can we, how can we improve statistical safety, period, right? Um, anybody who's actually, right? You know, I, I think the computer security industry is particularly like despicable. Uh, when it comes to a lot of this. Yeah, well, not just drivers should pay attention. It, it, you actually have a, uh, this, 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 um, maybe the word is uncanny valley for, glad to see you in the, yo, we can't, we, I care about safety a lot, right? I just don't like, you know, oh, safety is at the heart of everything we do. What does that even mean? Like what you're doing there is you're emotionally signaling, right? Please show me if you care about safety. Please show me the facts. Um, which Tesla crash? 
So yeah, I mean, Tesla has also gone billions of miles with autopilot. Uh, so to say, there have been three deaths that we know about, uh, maybe some that we don't, but still, the, the numbers I'm sure aren't far from uh, what you would expect. Uh, mandatory upload, no, no. So mandatory upload, there's no mandatory upload for the front camera. Um, I, I really, I don't want pictures of your face. Uh, if you would like to share that, we would certainly appreciate it and we'll reward you with comma points. But, um, which facts? But much different discussion than a Scopey Sunday should use. Well, I mean, like, this, is, this, is a, this is a higher brow version of shit-talking our competitors, right? Um, yeah, a week ago someone died with autopilot. Well, again, a, a week ago someone died in a, in a car crash. To, to say that, like, it was autopilot, I mean, autopilot was on, but we don't know. Um, again, not, maybe I'm talking too soon about both of these, right? You, you still, you have no idea what, what really happened. Um, all right, bro, you're banned. Um, but yeah, um, do I know Jimmy? Jimmy, so I don't know who that is. Is that like one of those things you say, like I want to see you pee or something? Uh, are you gonna buy a CT6? Unfortunately, we're not. Um, they're expensive. Uh, gray pandas are, gray pan if you order a gray panda, I'm sure it'll ship Monday. Um, uh, if you, if they're out of stock, then uh, I don't know. You gotta, gotta get in quick when they, uh, when they get in. Um, I don't have Facebook. I mean, yeah, no shit. I, I drive the car, right? Like, oh my God, oh, I don't care. Of course I, I care about, about safety. It's like, you, you have to, there's no point in signaling, right? I mean, this is not, you know, this is not signaling. I'm, I'm here to talk honestly about a change that we're going to make to our, to our open source, uh, a self-driving car, you know, why we're asking you guys to, to flip the eons over, um, and anything else. So maybe we'll, we'll start, a, we'll start a, a Slack channel. Maybe we'll, we'll add a channel to the main Slack, uh, hashtag safety. Uh, and it's really a constructive uh, discussion about how we can move uh, safety forward. Yes, we do keep stats on that. Um, I mean... People uh, recover, people touch very quickly after, after the awareness limit. I don't think there's, like, hitting the limit is not necessarily bad. Um, are we getting special open pilot update for, for Grey Panda users? So one of these days, one of these days, yeah, that's coming. Uh, but no, this, this, this sprint, so we, we work in two-week sprints. Uh, this sprint, we're really going to focus on, all right, the things that we have on the board are safety. Uh, was there ever a crash with open pilot? Um, not that I know about. Uh, was there ever a crash while OpenPilot was engaged? Not that I know about. Uh, there was, there have been a few crashes in cars with eons uh, that we know about while the system was off. Um, and the main one thing was actually talked about on Slack is uh, there was a rear ending. Uh, someone was rear ended at maybe eh, 10 miles an hour, not fast. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting to, you know, view that in, in Cabana. Will front-facing camera impact the awareness limit? So yeah, I mean, this is kind of the replacement for the awareness limit going forward. So what we're going to ship in the next release is just front camera recording, not front camera uh, monitoring yet. Interested in a research paper on self-driving and safe driving behavior? Maybe. So uh, again, you know, we don't, we, we don't even sell anything that drives your car. We give away some free software. Um, we trust that the people who, here's the thing, here's, a, here's another thing where, where, you know, these are my personal feelings on, on, on a company and on, uh, consumers. We trust that you're smart. We, we, we trust that you guys, the users of OpenPilot, uh, you know, aren't out there doing stupid things. Now, when you have, when you have us, so when you have Tesla, this is generally true. Um, you know, you have a certain sort of. A consumer who's probably more more educated on this kind of stuff. Um, when you you know if you want to reach millions and millions of people, you got to uh, got to make it more idiot proof, right? Uh, well, the Eon is a dash cam. The Eon is absolutely a dash cam. Uh, it's sold as a dash cam, like it really is. It really is a dash cam. You know, we do make dash cams too. We make a, a Schiffer app. Uh, we give away some free software called OpenPilot. Um, it does run on the Eon. 
Do you think factory sensors have fast enough response for self-driving? I think almost every sensor is going to have a faster response than humans. Um, talk about Eon flipping. So the reason we flip the Eon is because it puts the camera where it can see the driver. It puts the, the front camera where it can see the driver. Um, what would classify as a non-aware driver? A driver not looking at the road. Uh, you, you can see, you check out the MIT thing. We don't know yet. So I suspect that, okay, okay, okay. Some people just need to be blocked. Um, ban, ban. We gotta ban people, man. Periscope should be better. I, I love banning people, you know. There's a good, uh, there's a good Eliezer Yudkowsky uh, thing where he talks about communities that don't, oh my God. Uh, there's a good Eliezer Yudkowsky blog post, um, where he talks about communities that don't ban people. Oh my God, I got a death threat. Oh, I got a, oh, some guy on the internet. Come on, come on, come at me, bro. You know where I am. I'm sharing my location on Periscope. Let's go. Um... Chat going crazy today, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna build our own machine learning driver awareness monitor uh, from those people who are nice enough to um, volunteer their front-facing camera. There's a lot of freaks on the internet, guys. But you know what, for the most part, the internet's a lovely place, you know, positivity. Uh, 105 Scopey, safety, safety Scopey Sunday. Um, sunglasses, oh, should I show off the safety sunglasses? I didn't actually get these for, for safety. It's like flux for your eyes. Uh, yeah, it makes my eyes feel a bit better. You'll volunteer, thank you very much. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be recording on our cameras. We'll be recording on our cars as well. This is, I think, kind of the way to move forward, and I think it'll be pretty standard. Here's the thing, too. Uh, <laughs> I'm the only one here today, guys. It's Sunday. Um, you saw that autopilot worked without lines. Uh, autopilot works without lines, kind of. I think it works very similar to, has Com AI considered doing a security token offering? When there's a regulatory framework for security tokens, perhaps. Um, will a smiley face balloon considered eyes on the road? Absolutely not. Uh, front facing camera required for Gold Star Minute? No. Um, it's unrelated to the Gold Star Minute program. The Gold Star Minute program is just whether we can make a map for your data, from your data. Um, though we will give point five camera uh, comma points per minute for each person in a uh, front-facing camera. What does the industry need to focus on in order to make self-driving better? So you guys see, you know, I'll show you what I was working on today. Been working on depth nets. Um, we have much better depth nets than this, but this one was trained unsupervised, which is kind of cool. So we can look at the image down here. Let me just hide that. Um, I'm totally doing self-driving for winning. Hey, I'm not opposed to saving lives, guys, but I'm doing it to win. I'm not gonna virtue signal and say anything else. What would I do as head of Uber self-driving? The same thing I'm doing here. Um, I don't know, I'd probably fire a lot of people. I think Uber has a lot more tolerance for bullshit than I do. Um, I don't have any tolerance for bullshit, guys. We got real problems to solve. Winning is good. Keep winning. I like winning. No, I, I don't think that you have to go that Um, So that's, that's like Chris Ermston's take on it. Chris Ermston's take after somebody fell asleep uh, in the Google car was that there's no way to ever do safe uh, anything except for full autonomy. And I don't agree with that conclusion, but I do think that you do need to monitor the driver. Um, I had always kind of thought that the current level of systems wouldn't require driver monitoring because they just aren't that good. Um, but better to start now. It's better to start now on this kind of stuff. Who's the most underrated autonomous car company? Uh, Zooks. <laughs> no, 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 not Zooks. I'm joking. Zooks, Zooks, Zooks. Um, will Gray Panda follow road track smoothly without a base station? So no, you can't, using GPS alone, you can't localize accurately enough to follow a track. Uh, who's Phantom AI? Is that the one, isn't that the one that like rear-ended somebody? <laughs> isn't that the one that rear-ended somebody with the reporter in their car? 
Um, if nobody gets hurt, it's still funny, guys. It's only not funny when people get hurt. Um, what's comma missing to take them to the... Yeah, that's Phantom AI. That was, that was, that was great. Um, it's not funny if someone gets hurt. But if no one gets hurt, if there's no permanent consequences, it's funny. Um, oh, Auto X. I don't know what they're up to. They're, you know, the guy's a computer vision expert. Um, the car got, oh, the poor car. Uh, that's, it's still funny. It's still funny if the car gets hurt. Um, <laughs> all, all cameras. Yeah, they're all cameras. I don't know what their execution strategy is. You know, they came out kind of uh, a year after us. Where you place it exactly doesn't matter that much. Uh, Drive that AI is way overrated. I forget, but you know, I think the company's practically run by a scammer. Um, just, just the, their their rhetoric in their blog posts. They raised this overly inflated. They raised fifty million dollars, right? That's not a good thing. Um, so we raised money recently. We haven't announced how much or what valuation or anything like that. But uh, I will say this: it was a lot less than fifty million dollars. Because what the hell am I going to do with fifty million dollars? I don't need that, right? Like you shouldn't need that unless you've ballooned your company to some inflated size. Until, of course, you're a company that's making, you know, tens of millions in revenue. We're not making tens of millions in revenue yet. Um, how does comma fit, pedal fit into safety plans? Um, <laughs> uh, the comma pedal is totally not a product. That's totally just for people to mess with. Um, you know, be aware that if you're using a comma pedal, the absolute worst case is uh, unintended acceleration, where you can step on the brakes, put the car in neutral. Um, but that's pretty unlikely to happen. What's a lot more likely to happen is your car will lose uh, acceleration. Uh, will either lose full acceleration, go to limp mode, or lose acceleration entirely. Uh, that's QM in the, uh, in the auto industry. Um, yeah, I'm surprised all you people are here. So that, that's considered QM. So, you know, you don't really have to uh, worry about that from a safety perspective. That's just like, you know, yeah, you want it to work. Uh, no, comma steer is never coming out, guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who's trolling with comma steer. Um, I mean, a lot of, so if you guys read, uh, you know, since we are talking about safety, maybe we'll go through the, uh, the document that ships with OpenPilot, if you guys haven't read it. Ships with OpenPilot, called Safety. So, basically, our, guys, EPS hacks are super dangerous, don't do them. Um, we have two, two requirements in order to make our system safe. Uh, the driver must always be capable to immediately retake manual control of the vehicle by either stepping on the pedal or pressing the cancel button. Now, this assumes, of course, that the driver's paying attention. Um, but yeah, the driver must always be capable. We could phrase that better. Uh, why was climate change banned? Because <laughs> I, I have this cousin, man. I have, it's, it's just, it's, no, we're not going there. Um... The vehicle must not alter its trajectory too quickly to safely react. Um, meaning that's where you get into torque limits. Uh, so we limit the gas, the brake, and the accelerator. Um, e EPS mods, you know, there's a reason we don't release them. They are, they have the potential to be extremely dangerous. Uh, so it, with a bad EPS mod, what you could theoretically do is you could, you know, you're trying to steer the car. The motor is a lot stronger. Don't mess with EPS mods, guys. Uh, unless you really know what you're doing. If you really know what you're doing, and I hope that whoever figures out the EPS mod doesn't release a uh, three-step guide to EPS modding, right? Um, so, yeah, the, the danger of EPS mods is that motor has... You don't need full turning. You don't. Eventually. Eventually, maybe. Um, but there's a lot that needs to be done before that, and that's why we haven't released that kind of stuff yet. There's much easier ways to get full turning besides EPS mods, guys, too. Um, no, I don't, I don't go to Comic-Con. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a very geeky guy. Like, I'm just not that... I don't know, what would I, I play? Cosplay anime? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah the, yeah, the problem with EPS mods is the motor in the car has more... Uh, is stronger than you are. So it can turn the wheel regardless of what you want to do. So that's why it's a little bit, uh, a little bit dangerous. Um, whereas, 
you know, breaking is, 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 is always kind of considered a safe action. Yeah, at least it's strong enough. It is strong enough. Um, what alternatives to EPS? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you guys, you know? You saw us driving the Prius around, that wasn't an EPS mod. Um, but there are ways to do it. There are ways to do it. And if, if you, if you figured them out, then I, you know, you've earned, uh, kind of the, you know, I believe, if you, if you're smart enough to figure it out, I believe you're smart enough to be safe with it. Um, because I believe you're smart enough to understand the real dangers, uh, in EPS mods. Uh, does Tesla use FlexRay? No, I don't think so. They use Ethernet. I think there's a lot of their cars connected with like 100 megabit Ethernet. Uh, legit put an electric skateboard wheel on the steering wheel. I think that's what Xmatic's doing, right? Um, wheel brakes for turning. Guys, have you not, you know, now, okay. See, here's the thing about EPS mods. The Honda Torque is extremely low. Um, even probably 4Xing the Honda Torque, you would still be lower than Tesla's Torque, and you'd be kind of on par with Toyota's Torque. So there probably could be quite a bit more Torque and have the system still be safe. Now, unfortunately, they didn't uh, allow this by default. So if you are super, super careful with mods and, you know... Then, then you make the mod. It's, it's your car. I'm not, I'm not like trying to stop you. I'm just not going to help you, right? That's my, that's my prerogative as a, as a free uh, individual in society, right? Um, but we have two other things on the board. Shouldn't the Uber LiDAR have detected the pedestrian and hit the brakes? See, the problem with talking about that is you're only looking at the one situation where it didn't. You don't even know kind of what the success rates were until, and you know, you have to at least hand it to Tesla for releasing the blog posts. Um, the blog posts show something from the company. I think Uber's released absolutely nothing on the crash, uh, which I think this is bad from a PR perspective. No, except for no, you know, there was released a can't statement. Oh, our hearts and minds are, are with the family. Okay. That doesn't give me any information. I mean, I don't even know whether that's true or not. Anybody can write those words whether they believe it or not. Um, if you give me information, well, let's see, that's, 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 you know, something. Um, I think NTSB yelled at Tesla for, for giving out the information. But there's two more things on the board. Um, the two more things on the board are Amazon and Shift Plus. And Amazon means pandas will be going to Amazon, and Shift Plus means Shift Plus will be made. Uh, good. We have to we have to do a release of Shepherd Plus. It's been it's been far too long. Uh, well, I know that you guys don't like when I do releases anymore. Uh, I know. You know, we did the last release and you all complained. So no more releases ever. No, that's not true. We're gonna do we're gonna do zero point four point four um, as a release. Why three commas on the board? Well, because you know how long before we're worth a billion dollars, right? Our valuation is not a billion dollars yet. Almost, maybe, maybe it's closer than it was. Um, 432 is good, good. I'm glad you like it. Uh, pandas do have SKUs. Yes, we bought official SKUs. I don't know why Trump disapproves of Amazon, man. That's, that's between Trump and Amazon. I approve. I like Amazon. You know I like Amazon. Um, you know, I find out there's a lot of companies out there I don't like, but Amazon, I like Amazon. Amazon brings me stuff. It's cheap. It's good. <laughs> why is Trump? Guess I, I don't know. You know I don't know, man. Um, anything else to discuss on Safety Scopey Sunday? Do I like Zooks? Zooks is incredible comic relief, yeah. NVIDIA self-driving. Uh, yeah, I like NVIDIA. Which company do I hate the most? Oh, BitConnect. <laughs> I hate anybody who kind of takes themselves too seriously. You know? And, and people who have bad technology. If you both take yourself too seriously and have bad technology, I really don't like you. If you take yourself too seriously but you have good technology, it's forgivable. If you don't take yourself that seriously and you don't have great technology, that's forgivable too. Uh, oh, decel around turns. Yeah, absolutely. Once we have maps, we'll uh, we deal decel around turns. And I know we show the alert too much. Uh, we can we can do better. 
You need to be, am I chill and fun? I'm pretty hardcore, guys, I'm pretty intense. Will I sell on European Amazon? Probably not, that sounds hard. What about using an existing EPS system in a different car? I wouldn't do that. What do I think of Open Panda? You mean the case, or are you guys working on a board, too? I mean, you know, if you do it, you do it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not opposed, you know? You guys know my feeling on intellectual property. I'm not gonna send you the board file, but if someone remakes it and uses the firmware, like, uh, that's on them. Oh, the case, yeah, good. We, you know, the case is not, the case ain't a big secret. You could uh, take our case off and use a, use a 3D printer. The case is a big secret on the E on the, no, open E on. <laughs> um, what else? You guys wanna look at, no, I'm not, not releasing the EPS flash, guys. The theme of the next two weeks is safety. Uh, I saw an interview on the French website. Yeah, I don't know. If someone wants to buy me a Peugeot, I will still not support it because I don't have time. Uh, already tore your E on out. Don't do it. Look at this. I got Rice Krispie Treat lamb. Yo, yo, yo. You guys know I've come around a lot on Mobileye and Mobileye's blog post where they released Detecting the Pedestrian. That was pure savage. That was pure savage. Like when I saw that, I just couldn't believe Mobile I did that. Uh, pure savage props to uh, Aman Shashua. Uh, yeah, we have some Uber drivers. EPS mods increase safety. No, they don't. Pay attention. Uh, 1K for four giraffe. What, you mean like a bounty or you're willing to pay me $1,000 for four giraffe? What about YOLO? What, like, like as a life motto? That's like, or like YOLO net. You can meet and, meet and rice crispy lamb. We're going. You okay? All right. I'll, I'll put it up on the store. Shipping time, four to 12 weeks. YOLO self driving. Like YOLO net. Um, it's, I think that the idea of like detecting a type of object is, is dumb. Um, I think that the right solution is you want a whitelist, not blacklist, right? You shouldn't have a list of the things that you will not hit. You should have a list of places you can drive. Um, so this is known in the industry as like free space detection. I think free space detection is a much better idea than like trying to classify, identify and classify a pedestrian, right? Um, just do it to someone to learn AI. EPS mod ETA, February. It's somewhere in between February and March. Uh, you don't have Eon money, but you shift her. All right, all right. Um, will Neo continue to work? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna like, I can't reach into your Neo and break it. Um, but you guys know we are offering a Neo to Eon upgrade of $400 uh, and send your Neo and we will get you a brand new, like new phone, OnePlus 3T, 64 gigabyte Eon. When will Eon ship with cash in the box? You can't send cash in the mail, bros. The drug dealers made that illegal. You used to be able to send cash in the mail, but then the drug dealers messed it up for everybody. <laughs> um, don't you need pedestrian detection to predict their behavior? Uh, yes, maybe, but that should be in a, not really, no. You actually need to detect the evolution of free space over time. Um, is the DSP only unlockable with the Eon bootloader? Maybe. Um, ooh, ooh, yeah, the DSP. Ooh. Free the DSP.com, guys. Um, how do you keep focus when coding? I don't, I don't know. It's not like I sit and code for like 12 hours. I wake up in the morning, I code for a couple hours. I shit talk for a couple hours, and sometimes I code at night. Um, multi-vehicle convoy mode, stupid. I do like Mountain Dew. I'm one of those guys. Code Red, man. Code Red Mountain Dew. They know, they know their target audience. They know that that shit's for me. <laughs> uh, favorite Twitter accounts. Who do I like? Uh, you know, they've been blowing up lately. Like, like, um, Naval, uh, and, and that whole crowd, you got like the guy with the with the with the half face. Uh, I follow a bunch of just you know, my favorite Twitter accounts are the people I follow. Um, you know, people who are interested in truth. 
I'm interested in truth. I love truth, guys. Model predictive controlling a Tesla with Megan. <laughs> Did he really do that? Dude, Elon Musk, even, even if he hates me, man, he, he's awesome and I'll always think that. Um, even if he won't let me buy one of his cars. Uh, I forget, there was something I was going to respond to there, but yeah, my dad's an OG, right? My dad's pretty cool. Where do you think I learned this shit from? Guys, but you know, ma'am, adjustable following distance, no. What's up with the comma sign on your hoodie, bro? We are com AI. No, we're high. We are com AI. Uh, check us out, comma.ai. Uh, we make open source self-driving cars. Our slogan is ghost riding for the masses. Uh, can you come visit comma HQ? No, you can't, no. Uh, we, don't do, we don't do visits, but you can watch on Periscope, right? Can you go to PewDiePie's apartment? No. Um, won't the car be unable to stop for a waiting pedestrian? Well, yeah, but there's, there's other ways to track it, right? Like, you can track the evolution of free space over time. Yeah, of course, you can hold the address. I'm not going to give you a tour. Like, you could show up here and we'll be like, no, no tour, and close the door. And you'll be like, why did I come here? Um, has anybody gotten a comma tattoo yet? Not that I know of. I don't have any tattoos. Oh, man. Yeah, we got to upgrade my dad's... Uh, well, he's, got a, he's got a Nissan, man. I can't use his wheel speed sensors. Maybe I can. Maybe we'll look into it. He's, he's running... My dad's running Shepard Plus. Uh, do you want to be interviewed in your radio show in Minnesota? Yeah. If you send a... So, viv. Viv. V-I-V at comma.ai. Uh, reach out. And, yeah, if it's easy, we'll do it. Am I going to do another cross-country tour? Absolutely. The self-driving car awareness tour is every year, bro. Um, do you know the three commons in Silicon Valley? Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, the free space would not be affected by a pedestrian waiting inside a walk. No, not the free space at the time, but a prediction of future free space would, which is probably the space you want to operate in. You want to operate in pixels and not objects. Yo, what up, Dan? <laughs> Uh, random, but how old are you? How old do you think? Yeah, my family's back in, in New Jersey. I'm here in the Kama Mansion. Am I famous? I used to be famous, guys. You don't want to be famous, so it's a scam. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 28. I'm 28. No, you really don't want to be famous. Um, I think that was the last time, like, the Periscope went on too long because I was bored. I started really telling you guys about, like, yeah, I'm 28, I'm 28, I'm 28. How does factory Toyota pedestrian detection work? Not well. What was it like when Sony sued you? <laughs> yeah, come at me, bros. Uh, you're 27 and didn't do shit with your life. Well, you know, today's the first day of the rest of your life. Go do shit, right? What can I say? Thank you. Um... Today is the first day of the rest of your life. That was a line from Clerks 2, which was an incredibly sad movie. Like, Clerks was, okay, you have young guys working at a convenience store. Clerks 2 is about, like, some 30-year-olds who work at a fast food joint. That's sad. Um, operate in pixels, not objects. Does that include? No. Radar can operate in pixels as well. So what I mean by pixels is, like, area delimited, not object delimited. Um, the objects are all done later on in the radar. So you can certainly, I mean, you know, you just, when Elon talks, you listen to him talk about, uh, oh, Grace and I found the golden egg, man. Um, you can radar and cameras are, are the same thing, kind of. I mean, radars are emitive; they they emit, but like you can still just talk about them as like they're fundamentally, you know, just listening on a frequency, right? And that's what a camera is doing as well. But a camera is passive and not active. Oh wow, the bidding went up, guys! I really will put that up. If someone wants to pay one thousand dollars for a Ford Giraffe, we'll build it. It'll ship in four weeks. Uh, yeah, we have summer interns. Um. Gold Star Portal. Soon, soon, soon. Um, yeah, summer interns. Uh, give me a job at comma AI. Would I ever join the army for free med school? I have absolutely no interest in going to med school. I'm a little bit more interested in joining the army. To be honest, if I could go for like a six-month basic training, uh, I would volunteer. I don't really want to be deployed. But um, if they could put me through basic training and basically if somebody comes to invade America... I'm called up only if someone calls to invade. I'm not, I'm not going over there. I'm not fighting anybody over there. But if they come here, if somebody comes here to America, you know, then I'm down to fight. 
hacker, you're gonna hack, I'm an ex-hacker, I'm retired, just like Julian Assange. I shouldn't say things like that. <laughs> um, you're scared of being deployed too. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be deployed. Uh, you in the army? We in shit talk about, oh yeah, now we're in shit talk about, let's go, bro, let's go. Let's talk about working together, let's go. I, I thank you for coming on Periscope, by the way. That's, this is the way that we can interact with companies. Anyone who sends me an email, Dev Null, man. You know, but I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I'm not sure what the, the Army's like today, but I support the idea of, like, an organization like that and building those skills. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Yeah. I don't think I'm actually going to join the army, but it was something I considered at one point in my life. My mother told me I can't, though. What am I eating? I'm eating Rice Krispie Treat lamb. My mom sent it to me. Ex-hacker. I'm an ex-hacker. But okay, so let's hear about this plan for working together with an electric car company. Any chance we'd open another office location? <laughs> Absolutely not. No, I didn't try again to buy a Tesla. I, if they don't want me to buy one, they don't want me to buy one. I'm, I'm not, I'll respect that, you know, I gotta respect, respect. And for someone I didn't, you know, it's just because I respect Tesla, it's because I respect Elon. And for someone I didn't respect, I get your car, bro, you can't stop me. Um, basically using all the Tesla patents for the drivetrain. Now, no, 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 no. So, so here's what I'm saying. How far are you along? How many, uh, how many cars do you have? Like, yeah, how many have you built? That's, that's, that's the real question, right? You have five prototypes. Okay. Um, and then what's your, what's your ramp-up plan? When do, you plan to, when, when do you plan to ship cars to consumers? Okay, but when do you plan to ship cars to consumers? Okay, so you're past the prototype phase. Only for ride-sharing. Um, no consumers. Okay, I mean, but when do you plan to, like, scale up production? And then if you're only using it for ride-sharing, I mean, okay. Um, so what I would say is here's how we can work together. If you want Comma AI uh, to write a port for your car, uh, it's uh, uh, $250,000. Uh, and bring us a car um, and put $250,000 $50,000 in escrow, we'll write a port for OpenPilot, um, and then that port will work similarly to other, uh, to the other cars in the OpenPilot fleet, and you'll be able to buy Eons, and you'll be able to install them in the car. Um, so yeah, basically what we can offer to aspiring car manufacturers is a 250k port package. We'll port it, and we'll push it in the open source code uh, for OpenPilot or we'll push uh, an open source version. We'll push basically a branch uh, that works on your car. $250,000? No. If, if you're thinking about making cars, $250,000 shouldn't really be a consideration to you. Um, has anyone in Australia engaged open pilot? Yes, we have a few Australian users. Um, which <laughs> yeah no i mean look it's 250k is re really uh incredibly cheap um so we don't basically we don't do meetings we don't do we have so many meetings uh where nothing happens um that's my deal when you're ready to move forward with let's say a fifty thousand dollar down payment and a car uh then we'll invite you to the office to, to go over any, any specifics. You know, you show up with the car, you show up with a $50,000 check. Um, you pay us the balance when we do the port, we push it open source. It, the truth is most meetings just go absolutely nowhere. Um, so once you're ready to work with us like that, uh, we're happy to do it. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, it's basically, uh, you know, if, if, if you want more, if you want to know what you're getting, go out and buy a Honda, buy an Eon, try it out. Um, if you like it, then... Basically, you will get that on your car, um, assuming it has assuming it has actuators, assuming it has some spec for actuators that we can tap into. 
Um, so then wire us the money, uh, wire us the 50K down payment. We'll meet and bring the car. We'll do the port. It should take us about two months. And then we can, uh, when we're done, the rest of the 20, uh, 200K. But we don't really do meetings anymore. I found that most meetings go uh, almost nowhere. Um, Hondas actually do work a little bit better than Toyotas. That's why I'm saying buy Honda. And the Civic will be more representative of what you're getting, uh, assuming that you have a good spec for how to actually control the stuff on your car. Um, it does need radar. You need a forward-facing radar right now. Um, we can try to do vision only, but the quality is not going to be as good. Uh, but any, any normal radar is, is good. Uh, but I assume that's something you're already shipping in your car. I do it on Periscope, Yeti. You ready? We gotta get those gray pandas back in stock. Um, teasing new model for Toyota. That we're doing new models. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, there's there's nothing that you know. Uh, maybe the next level will be will be we'll have like a Skype conversation that we periscope. Um, you know, when I first started Kama, we met with like everybody. We had meetings with all the car companies, all the tier ones. Uh, <laughs> okay, you'll have the car. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm always down to talk on Slack. Uh, so you'll have the car done by by November. Okay, okay. Um, so in November, once you have the car, uh, once you have the 50k down payment, um, we'll sign a contract. Uh, you wire that down payment over. Uh, bring the car by. We'll chat. We'll go over any specific details to your car. Um, if we can't do it, if for some reason we can't get the port quality to match the Honda, we'll give you your car and the money back. Uh, I don't believe in being paid for work I didn't do well on. But yeah, I mean, the, <coughs> you know, don't expect level four self-driving car. That stuff's not real. Cool. Uh, yeah, the, Eddie did a great job with the pedal, right? And that's not even his main job. Excellent. Look at the successful, look at the successful Periscope meetings. Can I tell the Tesla story now? Yeah, sure. Um, so me and Viv went to the Tesla dealership. Oh, it was such a great experience. We were sitting like a Model X with the moon roof. Oh, it was, it was beautiful. And um, we're like, okay, we're going to buy one of these cars. So we're like, can we get one tomorrow? Um, so we're at the dealership. We set a delivery date of tomorrow at, uh, I think it was 11 a.m. I wake up in the morning. I'm super excited. I'm getting a Tesla today. Then I get a call from the dealership at like 10 a.m. And they're like, you know, we're sorry. Uh, your order has been canceled by the main office. Uh, I think that they want to reach out to you. Um, you know, let them know when you're available. So I'm like, look, I'm around all day. This is all I'm doing today. I'm getting a Tesla. And yeah, then I got a call from Tesla's head legal counsel at, at uh, 2 p.m., and I was kind of like, look, man, if, if you're going to, like, call me up with, with your legal things, I'm not, I'm not going to, like, I don't know, you know, we didn't even get to the point where he was asking for things. Like, I would never sign anything special to buy a production car. Um, so, you know, I was a little, uh, a little upset by that. But, hey, man, you know, it's their business. They're allowed to do that. We ban people from the Periscope. They ban people. I thought we were bros, but if we're not bros, that's cool, too, man. Um... I mean, they're not, you know, they're not that much better than what you can buy. So if I wasn't doing comma, what would I be driving? Not a Tesla. Um, I used to have a Mercedes Benz. Oh, you don't get why they did it? Uh, you know, they don't want, I mean, Elon's notorious about this. Oh, I could certainly get one. I could certainly get one. This isn't actually stopping me from getting a Tesla. But like also, I kind of wouldn't trust buying a car from Tesla where they've singled me out like that. You guys know they have SSH. They have root on all the cars. Um, I don't want to be singled out like that. If I did buy a Tesla, I'd buy it under my alter ego name. Uh, not from a Tesla dealership, from, from a third party. And, uh, yeah, no one would ever know. And, guys, maybe I have a Tesla, and I'm just trolling you all and keeping the, uh, keeping the whole front up, right? Um... Yeah, what would I be driving? Oh, I have Mercedes S-Class. They're nice. They're really nice cars. I wish the autonomy was better. Uh, April Fool says Tesla. I was coming around in my Tesla, guys. <laughs> no way. Uh, Tom Cruise. Yeah, that's a Cruise with a two zeros. Sir, do you have zeros in your name? That's right. I have zeros in my name. Two of them. 
<laughs> and after James Dean, the porn star with ease in his name, right? Not, not the guy who wrecked his portion died. Not that James Dean. Um, Audi's, oh, I rented that A4. You guys know I love that A4. You know the problem with Audi. Who knows the problem with Audi? Motorcycle autopilot. Nebuary. Uh, yeah, they're probably scared I'd reverse engineer it. Or they're scared I'd come on Periscope and shit talk about how bad autopilot is. <laughs> the Seesaw winner. That's right. I did win Seesaw. Those were the days. Uh, do I think Waymo is getting any significant market share? They bought 20,000 overpriced Jaguar shitmobiles. I, uh, what a stupid announcement. Um, like, why doesn't Waymo use Toyota Priuses? <laughs> Uh, can you reverse engineer a neural net? Well, not the weights themselves, but you can certainly look at the net architecture. I don't even have to reverse engineer it. Uh, I can just read. There's public stuff on the Tesla motor forums where somebody always does it for me. Um, so I just read Periscope. I just read uh, Tesla motor forums. Sorry. I read the words, and sometimes the words get caught up in my mind. Uh, what happened to safety? We talked about safety, and now it's shit-talking hour. Uh, do I still play PlayStation? I never played PlayStation. No, I mean, it's like... It's not that iPace is bad, right? I haven't been in an iPace. I hear it's kind of nice, maybe. But um, it's just, it's a poor choice. Like, for example, why would you use an electric car? Like, you just have to deal with that now, which you didn't have to deal with before with your Pacifica minivans, right? Later, man. Um, yeah, the next step in self-driving. Mean, that's more what I mean. It was more that the hype didn't match the reality. Yeah, and they bought 20000 of an untested first-year production car. I wouldn't do that. Like, that's just a poor business choice. Oh, and then, oh, my God. Oh, you guys want to bring up the video? Oh, it's it's so laughable. BitConnect! Guys, I bought some BitConnect. <laughs> I bought the dip, and it didn't recover, and I was devastated. I lost my house. I got to move out. <laughs> Um, that's not funny. Some people actually lost their house. It's still funny because nobody got hurt. <laughs> um, electric cars feel futuristic. See, that's, but I'm not about the feels, man. All right. So let's find the way, let's go on Waymo's Twitter and let's look at this announcement. And I just can't. Yeah, I know nobody thinks about it that way, right? Even probably the people at Waymo who made this decision. Opinion on Uber. Well, what do you mean, my opinion on Uber? I don't know. Um, I think they could have been more careful. But, you know, maybe they were. Um, my opinion on Uber hasn't really changed. Uh, you guys know that I was a fan of Travis Kalaknik. Um, the new Uber is just, it's just corporate shit. Oh, here we go. Oh, this one. Oh, yes. What was your best investment? ETH, bros. <laughs> um, digital versus analog. The steering and the brakes are the same on electric cars. You know, we've been driving in. Use a hybrid then. And we're looking forward to it. This guy. This guy. So, you know, I met with, you guys, some of you might know the story when I met with Jack or Len Rover. But, like, okay. Opinion on Nutella? Negative. Thank you, Sean. Opinion on blockchain? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as you know, Jack and Len Rover have always delivered outstanding, authentic products with character, capability, and innovative, advanced technology. And you all know that Land Rover invented the premium SUV. Or check over the disc brake for cars. Both brands have a long track record of creating... Okay. So let's pause the video and let's talk for a second about the word he used. Both brands have a track record. And that's how these car companies view themselves. And that's kind of what I'm like, what, what I'm anti. Right? I don't want, like, what is this? He hasn't said anything. Jaguar and Land Rover always deliver. Okay. But, like, you haven't shown me any facts to even prove that. You've just said those words. It's, it's practically Trump-esque. The game changers. Everyone, as you know, in the automotive industry wants to create a game changer, an icon. Everybody in the automotive industry 
wants to create a game changer, an icon. What is that? What is that? I, I don't even know. But the truth is, truth is, the opportunity to do so is very, very rare. And now, check See, it I don't think it was a joke. The first consequently designed and engineered electric vehicle. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so the first consequently electric designed elect battery electric vehicle. No, that's not true. But then he actually follows it up. He actually follows it up with something. From a premium brand. From a premium brand. What does that mean? He's speaking to his audience, but like, oh. The iPace dramatically guides us into smart, sustainable mobility and delivers. The iPace dramatically guides us. Can we just like visualize this for a minute? Like, like here's an iPace, and like we're all like walking behind the. Oh, guys, the iPace is leading us. Yeah, he's like the Genghis Khan of electric vehicles, man. He's like leading us into battle. Grace, space, and eco pace. A product for game changers, creating unprecedented. <laughs> it's expensive. Ladies and gentlemen, electrification is the technological prerequisite for autonomous drive in the future. Electrification is the technological prerequisite for autonomous driving. He finally says something that's a fact. And it's not true. That doesn't even make any... What, why? That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah. And we are leading. And we have a clear vision of smart mobility. <laughs> new levels <laughs> of high right quality, safe, enjoyable, entertaining and exciting journeys. Giving our customers Precious, valuable time back. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm over this guy. Um, but what we should talk about is who has redeemed themselves. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna leave off with, oh, where's the time? Like the time used to be on Periscope. I think they got rid of it so they wouldn't know how long I've been doing this for. Um, we are gonna talk about the biggest redemption of 2018 award. We're gonna hand it out right now. Biggest redemption of 2018. From who got made fun of to who's not going to be made fun of anymore. Who do you guys do you think? Who do you think? No, no, no. Subaru's still going to be made fun of. But not because of anything Subaru did. Just because of, like, Subarus. Who, who do you think? 2018. It's the year of the... No? Oh, it's been over an hour. Oh, I really got to go. I got things to do today. Ford, it's the year of the Ford. You guys got it. It's the year of the Ford. Guess what? Ford has just made all these features standard on the 2019 Fusion, which we love to see. We can't wait to support the 2019 Fusion. You guys know we have a 2018 Fusion. I'm going to leave you with Ford is redeemed. There will be no more making fun of Ford on these periscopes. Ford has redeemed themselves. Congratulations. Round of applause. Clapping with one hand for Ford. Ford has redeemed themselves. Ford's back, up at the sticker. I was not happy about the sticker. Don't get me started on the sticker. But Ford has redeemed themselves, so Ford is out of the shit bin. Um, Jaguar has moved themselves further into the shit bin. <laughs> um, it is standard on 2019s. Uh, thank you, Scopies. Thank you for joining for this Safety Scopy Sunday. Our next two weeks will be focused on safety, and we'll be starting the safety channel on Slack so we can discuss safety, constructive, positive things only. Absolutely no fear mongering. Fear mongering is never tolerated. Make sure to click that like and subscribe button and make sure to buy all your shit on shop.com.ai. Gray pandas will be back in stock next week if you've been looking to buy a gray panda. Happy Easter. I don't think Ford owns Jaguar. Happy Easter to everybody uh, and to all a good night. Bye-bye.